Some people ask me, should I only trap the females? Because they're the ones making all the kittens. Well, <laughs> I would highly recommend that you also trap the males. It's not just the females. If you could get the males, the males live really hard lives. They have to defend their territory. They have to fight for their food, fight for their females, fight for their DNA to get passed down with other tomcats, so they're always at war. The best thing you can do for the health of the male cats out there that my heart goes out to because they come in sometimes to the clinic and they look like Rocky. They've been fighting their whole life. They've got scars all over their heads. They're just like warriors. And as soon as you can neuter them, all that testosterone goes away and they mellow out and they just live. And they're still territorial. They will still defend their territory. But instead of duking it out with teeth and claws, you know, causing massive abscesses, they've got the jowls so big, you know, it can barely fit in the trap. <laughs> Basically, they just mellow out and they live their lives. Instead of fighting, they'll tend to do the stare down. And they'll still, I've actually seen cats in my North Hollywood alley that just stare each other down and they will force an unaltered cat back out the alley and they will not let him into his territory. So again, equally important that you trap the males. Don't just obsess on the females because you see them having the kittens. They've got a partner out there.